Previously, we have discussed basic concepts of fractions. Fractions are ratios of numbers. They may be parts of a whole or they may be parts of a set. Fractions also indicate division. And of course, fractions have numerator and denominator. Today, we will discuss about similar and dissimilar fractions. Think and understand. One-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourth. They are similar fractions. One-fourth, two-third, and three-fifth. They are dissimilar fractions. Four-seventh, five-seventh, and six-seventh are similar fractions. Eight-tenth, five-sixth, and three-halves are the similar fractions. How do you differentiate similar from the similar fractions? Fractions whose denominator are the same are called similar or like fractions. In the example below, the denominators are all nine, and they are all the same. That is why they are examples of similar or like fractions. If fractions have different denominators, they are known as dissimilar or unlike fractions. Such as in the example below, all the denominators are different, and so they are known as dissimilar or unlike fractions. Let's practice. Tell whether the set of figures illustrate similar or dissimilar fractions. Number 1. Answer, similar fractions. The first set is 5 8, while the second set is 4 8. Number 2. Answer, similar fractions. The first set is 1 third, while the second set is 2 third. Number 3. Answer, dissimilar fractions. The first set is 2 sixth, while the second set is 4 fifth. Number 4. Answer, dissimilar fractions. The first set is 5 ninth, while the second set is 4 sixth. Number 5. Answer, similar fractions. The first set is 1 fourth, while the second set is 3 fourth. It's now your turn. Classify the set of fractions as S for similar or D for dissimilar. Number 1. Number 2. Number 3. Number 4. Number 5 Number 6 Number 7 Number 8 Here are the answers for practice exercise. If you have questions, you may just post or comment it. I will be waiting. This is all for now. See you in the next lesson.